drink. Hi there, guys. It's Mike from MCQ Bushcraft here, and Megan here as well. Hi. And we've been out doing a bit of hiking today, just having a look at the wilderness here, looking at the different species that are around. Lots of fungi around this time of year. We're doing some camping tonight, and we're just making our way along this trail here to get to a nice viewpoint over a lake and uh, set up camp for the night, do some cooking, obviously do some filming as well. So I hope you enjoy the video and uh, we'll make our way to camp. Wow. <laughs> Looks like we're here. This is where we're going to be spending our first night in Sweden. We're going to be using this lean-to. They have these sort of cabins everywhere up in the wilderness around here as they do in a lot of countries that have open wilderness. And there's a few things they've got in here that they can provide for us. We've got a fire pit in front of us there with a grill that you can swing out. It looks pretty useful. So we'll probably be using that as our, our fire pit. We've got a bench that we can sit on, which is quite nice. Wood in bags over there. Um, things like an axe. For splitting logs that they've provided you. Really nice to see. I think we'll get these packs off though. I know you'll probably want to get yours off. Yeah. <laughs> Can be a bit cumbersome at times. It doesn't take long to gather enough to make a fire with and this rarely needs any processing. It's so paper thin, just put a spark in it from a ferro rod and it'll go up. One thing you'll find in abundance on the forest floor where I am in Sweden is berries, wild berries, and uh, they're blanketed everywhere. Everywhere you walk it provides almost like a, a cushion for you where you're walking. There are berries all over the place. And by my knee here we have some berries here. These are what they call lingon berries, these red ones. Um, they have these in Scotland as well and they call them cowberries, and they're really quite nice actually, I like the taste of them. We also have another type of berry as well, which is quite common, and it's this one here, it looks like a blueberry, and it's almost commonly referred to as a blueberry here, but um, these aren't actually blueberries, they are in the same family and, and very, very similar. These are bilberries, and you can tell a bilberry and a blueberry apart quite easily. If you bite it in half, you'll see that the bilberry doesn't have green flesh inside like the blueberry. It has almost like a red flesh and um, it stains everything it comes into contact with like your fingers and uh, clothing and such, whereas the blueberry doesn't. Um, so they do taste very similar, although I like the taste of the bilberry a little bit more to be honest, but again these will go great if you're making bread or you just want something to eat and you're, you do like wild berries. What I think I'll do is I'll spend a bit of time collecting a bowl of these so we can have them with our bread later. I'm not sure if I'm a top berry picker. You don't think you're very good at it? No. Why? It's too selective. Too much of a perfectionist. I'm like, oh, I can't have that one because it's not quite big enough. Yep. More berries.
smoke, don't you? Having a smoke bath. It's punk wood. The child in me wishes we brought some uh, marshmallows. Yeah, I thought you'd probably say that. <laughs> You've got a cobweb in yours. Oh, delicious. You're lucky. Cheers. Cheers. Day one. It's probably going to be a bit hot. <laughs> <laughs> this lean-to comes with a number of tools. You've got some behind me, as you can see, like a brush and a, a shovel. Uh, but uh, it comes with an axe as well, and it's hung up over there out of goodwill. This is a Holtifer's axe, one and a half pound head. I don't think it's the original handle. It possibly looks like it's been rehung at some point. But uh, the actual neck has been battered and it's obviously been used pretty thoroughly. Hasn't got an edge on it anymore. Probably very good for splitting but other than that I, I can't imagine it's too good at finer work. So I think what I'll do is I've got my Spyderco stone here. I'm gonna resharpen it and see whether I can uh, leave it in decent condition for the next person. It's going to take some time though. Probably about the best I can do with the gear that I've got. That stone is way too fine to make any progress, but uh, it's a lot better than it was. It has kind of an edge in some areas and not others, but that'll have to do. some wood earlier, some cords just to, just to bring back. It's easier to process up there than just uh, process down here and keep taking logs up. So I'll grab these two. Okay, well that's that's kind of ready really. Okay, fantastic. Uh, I think we should just have little cakes. Okay. So we'll see how this goes. Hang on. 
It looks so unusual. It's amazing. What a colour. I feel like we're having pudding for dinner. <laughs> How's it looking? Can you try it? Yeah? <laughs> Pretty hungry. It's looking. Mm. Cooked inside? Mm. Looks amazing when it's not been cooked. take a while this one but it'll be worth it Tea. You better drink it before it gets cold. It's the only water we got left. Okay, just doing you some porridge. Yeah. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's our first night, and we've taken it easy in this lean-to here. Had a nice view, and uh, we're ready to go back. Get ready for the next time we go out. So we'll see you next time, and uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.